Hello, everyone. What's up? It's your girl, B Sparrow, Buzz Sweet Talk Radio. How y'all doing today? I am doing just grateful, and as always, I'm thankful to be amongst the living. And if you are within the sound of my voice, I'm thankful that you are amongst the living too. Y'all, we need some good news. You know, every now and then I like to throw in some good news, articles that make you feel good about the day and about, you know, somebody doing a good deed. It makes you want to do a good deed. You know what I'm saying? So much is going on, so much evil going on around us in the world today that we barely ever come across anything that's good. And I know there are people out there doing some good things in this world, but we don't, for some reason, we don't get people doing good deeds. We don't. We hardly ever hear about it. And so every now and then I come across an article where someone has done a good deed. And I have to share it because it's rare. (laughs) Y'all know what I'm saying. It's very rare. Like, I remember when I would find, there was a point when I was working downtown D.C., I would find cell phones. You know, people leave their cell phone on the bench. You know, people leave their cell phone on the bus or in the restaurant. And every time I would find a cell phone, I would call, I would call, you know, I would go into the, you know, fortunately people weren't locking their phones much back then, but I would go into the contact and I would text, you know, people to let them know that this phone was found. Who can I contact? Please call me at this number. I remember one time this, this, I remember this specifically because I was on the train going to work and I was listening to Blake Sheldon, country music. I was listening to his Red River Blue CD. I think that's the name of it. Red River Blue. Blake Sheldon, country. And I didn't have it up loud, you know, because I wanted to be aware of what's around me. But this white dude walked on and he was playing hip hop. I heard his hip hop (laughs) through his um, headphones. So I'm black girl over here playing country and this white boy, he was cute too, walked in playing hip hop. Well, he forgot his phone. And so I picked the phone up and I didn't want to leave it with the, the, um, the station manager because, you know, I wanted to make sure that he got his phone back. I think it was an iPhone at the time. And so I got in touch with somebody I got in touch with several people to let them know that I found the phone. They got in touch with him and he called me. We met up at the Metro, I think where I got off at because he got off before me. And I I was telling him that if he can meet me at the Metro, which is right across, you know, a block away from where I work, you know, I can give him his phone. So we met up, I gave him his phone and he asked me if he could hug me. And I was like, oh, and so, yes. So I hugged him, and he was very grateful that I gave him his phone. That's a good deed. Another time when I was working at the courthouse, I was sitting on the bench. You know, I was having lunch, and I walked past the bench, and there was a cell phone there. And I did the same thing. It just so happened the man worked right across the street from where I was working at. And he, we met at the back of the courthouse, and I gave him his phone, and he was so grateful. So, yes, y'all, there are good Deeds going around, and there is an article. So if you would give me a t- some time to go and fetch my article, I'd appreciate that very much. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Buzz Sweet Talk Radio do not own copyright for this copyrighted material, but under Section 107 United States Copyright Office, Copyright Act 1976, this video, the music and content it contains is for education and or entertainment purposes only. 
right? I know people have been sitting there, but I got to bring this queen up here. B Sparrow. B Sparrow. I was keeping my eye on that Sparrow. Come on in. What's up, B Sparrow? Inspired by the I can't call it. 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 I can't call it, I can't call it. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, B Sparrow. I got my article. Yes, I did go and fetch my article and we're talking about good deeds right now we're going to read this article because it's very rare like i said that i come across an article that has good news you know this world is so full of hatred and so full of evil that that's all you hear about these days well according to this article on MSN.com, a Georgia woman using KFC drive through finds $543 in cash under her sandwich and decides what to do with it. Now, y'all know, most of us, we find that. We, we find $543, we're going to think it's a blessing from the Lord. I don't care where we find it at. We're going to think <laughs> that it's a blessing from the Lord, ain't we? <laughs> Tell the truth. So this article goes on to say, I mean, $543, that's a lot of money these days. A Georgia woman is being commended by authorities after returning the more than $543 in cash she found under her sandwich. Now, I'm wondering if it was actually in the wrapper under the sandwich (laughs) or was it stuck to the wrapper outside of the sandwich? You know what I'm saying? So, in a Facebook post, the City of Jackson Police Department thanked Mrs. Joanne Oliver for her honesty and her goodness. (laughs) Miss Joanne deserves a hand clap, not a laugh, a hand clap. That's what I meant to hit the hand clap, y'all. Shout out to Miss Joanne Oliver. On Wednesday, September 14, 2022, Jackson Police were called to Mrs. Oliver's workplace. Mrs. Oliver had gone to a local restaurant drive through on her lunch break and returned to work to enjoy her lunch. When she opened her lunch and removed her sandwich, she was surprised to find $543.10 in cash on her sandwich. Now, y'all know that would have been a blessing from the Lord for us. <laughs> we would have been like, oh, thank you, Lord. We wouldn't have even had tried to go and see... Um, did it belong to anybody? We would have just would have paid our rent with it. I'm telling y'all what I'm telling y'all the truth. Um, my sister Stephanie, well, she's my sister in Christ. She called me the other day and said that she had went into the store and there was some money hanging out of the ATM and she grabbed it. And she said she saw this old lady looking around like she had lost something. So she didn't think none of it and just left and went and sat in her car. But when the old lady walked out of the store, she approached the old lady and asked the old lady, did she lose some money? The old lady said no. And so my sister definitely said, like I just said, that blessing was from the Lord. <laughs> she said she was blessed by the Lord, honey, and she kept the money. Uh, shout out to Stephanie. <laughs> So after investigating the find, it was determined that the restaurant's daily deposit had accidentally been placed in her sandwich bag. Mm, mm, mm. Not only did Mrs. Oliver do the right thing, but she saved the manager's job. It continued. Because I was just thinking, if uh, that had happened on a normal basis, a normal um day and no one had brought the money back that manager would have been fired Mm. Mm. mrs oliver thank you for reminding us that we have amazing citizens in jackson and it's people like you that make us great the article continues According to wsb tv the grandmother had visited the fast food giants Third Street location, the cash was enough to pay off her electricity bill and her husband has suffered a stroke and is battling cancer. Oliver told the station the family is facing medical bills totaling around $2 million. She admitted that she thought about going shopping for a second 
If you don't do the right thing, it's going to come back on you, Oliver said. I mean, it wasn't mine. I didn't need to keep it. I'll get mine in the future. KFC reportedly refunded the money Oliver paid for her lunch and gave her a free meal. That's all, KFC. I I don't know what I expected them to do, but thank you, Miss Lady, Miss uh, Oliver, for returning the money. Um, I don't know if I had would have done that. Um, I like to think of myself as a trustworthy person, but I probably would have thought that it was a gift from the Lord. But at the same time, it was from KFC, so I probably would have taken it back too. I probably would have taken it back. What would y'all have done? Would y'all have taken that money that money back <laughs> to the restaurant? Let me know what do y'all what would y'all have done because, like I said, five hundred and forty three dollars that's a that's that's not a lot of money but it's a lot for somebody that that won't have any money. <laughs> so again, shout out to Miss Joanne Oliver for return Mrs. Joanne Oliver for returning the money to KLC, and so she saved the manager's job so let me know what y'all think about this like comment subscribe not just to my youtube channel but come on over here to my podcast on spreaker.com buzz tweet talk radio follow me there and in return i'll do the same it's your girl be sparrow buzz tweet talk radio holla y'all girl okay okay <laughs>